Welcome to Measure Square Mobile. This set of tutorial videos is going to demonstrate how to create an estimation diagram using Measure Square on an iOS device such as an iPad or iPhone. This playlist will show you how to use most icons and tools via hand sketch on Measure Square. This tutorial is divided into six different videos. First, we have an introduction to our application interface and some of the essential functions. Then we have our four parts of our workflow here at Measure Square, which are to sketch a diagram, edit the properties, and add miscellaneous objects. Second, to apply any products. Third, we estimate the data, review, and adjust any factors such as seams or layout direction. And finally, we share our projects or create reports. The final video covers different setting factors and how to create your own product catalog. In a different playlist, we demonstrate how to create a diagram using a takeoff plan or with a distal laser meter. First, we have the home screen. From here, you can sync all of your diagrams to our cloud via the sync icon to back up all your diagrams and data, such as product catalog for recovery if needed. You can also access your account settings via the settings icon on the upper left corner. And don't forget to rate how awesome our app is via the account menu. Use the search bar to filter through your diagrams by their name. On the lower right, you can adjust sorting settings via the blue lines to your preference of alphabet, date created, or modified. Via the eye icon, you can manage diagram name, share it with other users, and save it to other apps such as Google Drive and Dropbox. Now to get started with a new diagram, hit the plus sign on the upper right side. The system will prompt you for a diagram name, such as the name of your customer, their address, or a unit number if you are working on multiple units. Select OK when done. Now you will have a blank screen where you can begin to draw, but let's cover some icons that appear towards the top of the screen. To the far upper left corner, we have the home icon that will take us back to the list of all our diagrams. The cross will put you in pan mode so that you can move your diagram in one entirety. The middle icon will change according to your last performed action. For example, if you use rectangular mode, you can tap that icon after completing your first shape to go directly into rectangular mode instead of selecting through the menu options. The pencil icon is a list of your drawing menu options. The stack icon will allow you to draw in multiple layers such as a house with two floors or a basement. The calculator icon will allow you to review or adjust your data and how it is estimated. The box and the wrench icon will allow you to adjust your views and what appears on your diagram. The box with arrow up will allow you to manage and share your projects such as generating reports or invoices that allow you to capture your customer signature. From this menu, let's go into the project info real briefly. Under the project info, you can enter the customer's information, such as their address, if you did not enter it as a diagram name. This information can be directly imported from a contact in your catalog. You can also add any notes specific to this job on the diagram. Information entered under the project info will not show up on your diagram, but in certain parts of your reports, such as on the invoice. The arrows allow you to undo or redo any actions performed. The question mark icon will direct you to our user guide. The settings gear allows you to adjust both project and system settings. From the bottom of the screen, drag the gray arrows to show your cut sheet once row goods have been applied to your diagram. Also, to the upper left corner of the screen, you will see a circle with an arrow. This will show or hide your products and widgets menu.